Okay, first of all, I think anyone who has been to China over the years, particularly in the last 30 years since China adopted the reform and the opening uh, policies, uh, will have to recognize the fact that uh, there has been a tremendous improvement and development of human rights in China. And the Chinese people, I should say, enjoy better human rights in, than 20 or 30 years ago. And um, I personally can tell, during the time of the Chinese Cultural Revolution between 1966 to uh, 1976, the human rights in China was not the word of the mouth. And people were not, were not very much aware of what human rights really implied to. But today, if you go to China, you ask people about the human rights, what would be, the, what would be their human rights? I think different people will give you a different interpretation. But the most important thing is that um, for a country like China with 1.3 billion people, the basic human rights is to have a decent living, have housing, food, education. And also, in the meantime, we also improve the political rights of the Chinese people. So I think uh, doing the business with China, uh, there's no collocation between the two. Uh, trade is trade, and uh, we have foreign investment in China on a massive scale, and uh, many companies are doing well. But in doing business, of course, you have to conform to the regulations and laws of the resident and country, and not to violate the laws. And this is the same implying to, applying to the Chinese companies when they do business overseas, even in Canada.